understood. We'll get off here. But the SIU building is still a little further ahead. That's okay. This thing will stick out if we bring it too close. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'll lead you the rest of the way. Let's go. Let's rock. Let's head to the top of this overpass. We can get a good view of the SIU building from up there. Wanna go check it out? Yeah. I go. One's the SIU building. See that over there? It's the building next to the police station. Which floor? Top. Got it. I'll take it from here. You're staying behind. Like hell I am. All you're gonna do is slow me down. Unless you want to take a straight bullet to the head. But I don't think you do. Y hang on a second. Someone's sending out orders to me in the black suits. I'm not sure who, though, but the orders are coming from the SIU building. I thought you said it was Ida. He's dead. I'm pretty sure Shinonome shot him. I suppose I'll find out when I get there. Come in. I know you're there. What? drone to monitor us, haven't you? I'm nothing if not thorough. It might interest you to know that I have a guest with me. <sighs> Miss Iori Fuyusaka. Now then, why don't you come by so we can talk? And hurry, I'd like to give you a proper welcome. Oh. Drop the gun. Now. Drop the gun. <laughs> Don't do anything rash. One wrong move and I'll blow her head off. That voice. So you're Ida. That explains how you survived being shot. You were an android this whole time. That's not true. I did die. I simply copied my memories onto this android, just in case something were to happen to me. You plan to perform another loop as an android? Don't be a fool. I've already saved my data to the evacuation area. So you're having the android do the dirty work? When it comes to making sure I end up in the next world, there's no one I trust to get the job done more than me. Release Fuyusaka. She has nothing to do with this. No. If anything, her existence poses a threat. And as it turns out, you have no intention of keeping our promise. You know I lost my memories. How do you expect me to keep a promise I don't remember? Perhaps this will ring a bell. So, how did it all go? Taking care of anyone standing in your way, I hope. Well, you can relax. Ryoko and I did what we needed on our end. We've already backed up your data. Next time when the world resets, you'll still have your memories intact. There's only one thing left for you to do. Obey Tetsuya Ida's orders. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Sounds like a real moron. He clearly has no clue what's going on. I see I'm left with no other choice. I've long anticipated your betrayal. Besides, it's already too late. No matter what... 
what you do. This is the end for you. Once we arrive in the next world, I promise to take very good care of you all. Now you can die in this world with nothing to fear. No. Kick him in his uh, a android balls. Android balls. Flip kick. You get to die first, Sekigahara. So you don't have to watch. Morimura. <clears throat> she abandoned the idea of starting over again. And she became obsessed with Operation Aegis. Don't you want to know why? Clearly, I received Miura back in Sector 3. You're the one who gave him to me. And I remember recording the footage you just played, too. I made sure to back up all my memories. Now I remember everything. Into the past! Boobs! Anyway. Are you okay? No. This is bad. There's nowhere to run. The black suits are monitoring major streets. We're completely surrounded. <clears throat> you look like you're getting worse. Have you taken your pills? I'm all out. They weren't even helping anyway. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. After I lose my memories, I imagine I'll come to you for help. When that time comes, give this to me. What are these numbers? They're for the message service. I use the one from this era. Understood. If we use the Aegis system, all the terminals will be sealed. Then the city will be cut off from universal control. There won't be any hope of restoring order at that point. That's why everyone disappears. We need to keep at least some of the terminals open. We can't. The enemy will target any open terminals. Then what? We give up on this world and try again next time? I'm afraid that isn't an option either. There won't be a next time. I had a look at the logs from 2188. I've discovered a way to link to the satellite. A satellite? It's not from this world. There's a satellite orbiting the real world. From it, I learned more about the mechanics of this world. And it turns out we don't get as many tries as we want. The stability of this area is at its breaking point. We can't fail again. If we do, the entire facility will be reset. And Sector Zero will be lost. What's Sector Zero? I know I've heard of it before. Seems like your symptoms are becoming more severe. All right, listen well. As you know, there are five different sectors. However, there exists one more unique sector. It doesn't take up any space, and there's no interior to see. That's Sector Zero. It's an evacuation site that's unaffected by loops. Normally, you can send your data there using the shifter. That's what allows you to continue if the world resets. That's right. Ida did say that was the way to escape to the next world. Yes, but this time, Sector Zero will cease to exist as well. We won't be able to loop again. This is our last chance. So without Sector Zero, the world won't be recreated? If the Aegis system is activated, yes. We'll still be here, though we'll be left behind in a world of chaos. What you're saying is true. Why keep it all a secret? Because... Sekigahara-kun. Tell me... Why did you erase the logs? Because I had to. I couldn't let anyone find out about them. There's quite a lot that transpires in 2188. The Earth is a very different place. 
Do you want to know what happens? Here we go. Hey, Seki Gahara. With me. I've already done my research on you. You're the one who was hired to kill me. In case you couldn't tell, there isn't much left of humanity. Just the ten people in this little colony. It's a bit fruitless to kill for money at this point. Don't you think? I've done my research on you as well. And I'm very thorough when I research my targets. There's nothing you can hide from me. How menacing of you. Intimidate me all you want, but you're not leaving that room. Professor Chihiro Morimura. In order to raise research funds for Project Ark, you partnered with several questionable organizations. You then sold nanotechnology on the black market. And that, that's the source of the infection on the surface. I didn't intend for any of this to happen. Your voice is trembling. Can't say I blame you. No one will believe a word you say. Oh, I don't plan on telling anyone. This is for me. I never want to forget this moment. The moment humanity's traitor stares death in the face. What was that? That was the bomb I planted. Of the power generator? Are you insane? We have to repair it right away. We'll lose life support if we don't. When I take a job, I finish it. It can't be. The lock to your room's been disengaged. Just hang tight, Professor. I'll be seeing you soon. Seki Gahara's a badass. He's Hitman! That game comes out in January. Humanity was wiped out by the nanomachine infection. And it was all my fault. <sighs> Seki Gahara-kun! You're in bad shape. At this rate, you'll... Huh? Are you lost, little girl? What are you doing alone in a place like this? I guess it makes sense that you don't remember me. I was just a baby when we last saw each other, after all. There's only need for one, Chihiro Morimura. Y you're... And that's me. Little badass over here. Morimura said quite a bit before she died. If you're going to lie, at least put some effort into it. No matter. I'll simply ask Miss Fuyusaka here what she knows. After I finished you off, of course. Sector Zero. <laughs> That's where you backed up your data, right? A good precaution, but that isn't gonna save you. <laughs> Morimura gained access to the satellite of the real world. That's where she learned about the next reset. And that it's going to be different from any other. Satellite of the real world. It's not just this world at stake anymore. If we fail to defeat the kaiju again, the real world will be impacted as well. That includes the facility that sends us back there. When the facility itself is recreated, there won't be a Sector Zero anymore. <sighs> Whether we go with Operation Aegis or not, there won't be a next time. And no one will be able to loop again. Satellite. Tony, is this what you meant? It can't be. But... Dead. Seki. Go home. Oops. I slipped. Yay!
Ah, uh, fuck. But that's going to do it for me tonight. And yeah, beyond that, thank you everybody who came out. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.